Jay keep going, Jay keep going, Jay keep going, Jay keep going. You can't turn back, you come too you far, you can't give up, you work too hard. Jay keep going. Welcome to Dissertation in 90 Days, the podcast where we guide you through the doctoral journey with practical advice and strategies. I'm Dr. J, your host and spokesperson for Grad Mentor Network. Whether you're just starting your dissertation or in the thick of it, this podcast is designed to help you navigate the process with confidence and clarity. Today, we're diving into a topic that many PhD students struggle with, overcoming writer's block in dissertation writing. If you've ever found yourself staring at a blank screen, unsure of how to start or continue, you're not alone. Writer's block can be a formidable obstacle, but with the right techniques and mindset, it can be conquered. We'll explore practical strategies to break through these barriers, allowing you to write more freely and effectively. Before we get started, I want to remind you to share this podcast with fellow doctoral students who might benefit from our discussions. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode full of insightful tips and advice. Let's get ready to tackle writer's block head on and make your dissertation writing journey smoother and more productive. Today, we're tackling a challenge that most of us face at some point, writer's block, specifically writer's block in the context of dissertation writing. So what exactly is writer's block? Simply put, it's when you feel stuck, unable to move forward with your writing. Your ideas seem trapped and words just won't flow. It's incredibly common among doctoral students. You might feel frustrated, anxious, or even overwhelmed. These feelings can make it seem like you're the only one struggling, but trust me, you're not alone. Think back to a time when you sat down to write and nothing happened. I remember one particular evening during my dissertation journey. I had my coffee ready, my laptop open, and a clear goal for the night. But hours passed, and I hadn't written a single word. The more I tried, the more stuck I felt. It was like my brain had hit a wall. That's writer's block. It's important to acknowledge that this is a normal part of the writing process. Almost every doctoral student experiences it at some point, the key is not to let it discourage you. Recognize that it happens and understand that it's okay. This acknowledgement can be the first step towards overcoming it. In the next part of our discussion, we'll delve into practical strategies to help you break through writer's block. But for now, remember, experiencing writer's block doesn't mean you're a bad writer or that you won't finish your dissertation. It's just a bump in the road, one that we can navigate together. Stay tuned. Now that we understand what writer's block is, let's explore why it happens. Identifying the causes can be a crucial step in overcoming it. One major cause of writer's block is perfectionism. The fear of not writing something perfect can paralyze you. You might think, if it's not flawless, it's not worth writing. This mindset creates immense pressure, making it hard to start or continue writing. Another common cause is a lack of clarity or direction in your research. If you're not sure where your work is headed, it's easy to feel stuck. The uncertainty can make the task feel daunting, causing you to freeze up. The sheer size of the dissertation can also be overwhelming. When you think about how much work lies ahead, it can feel insurmountable. This sense of overwhelm can lead to procrastination, further fueling writer's block. External pressures play a role too. Deadlines loom and personal life doesn't stop. Balancing everything can be tough, adding to the stress and making it harder to focus on writing. Let me share a story from another doctoral student. Jane, a PhD candidate, struggled with writer's block for months. 
Her fear of failure was so strong that she couldn't write a single sentence. She would sit at her desk, staring at the screen, feeling defeated before she even started. But once she identified that her perfectionism was the root cause, she began to make progress. She learned to accept that first drafts don't have to be perfect. They just have to be written. Take a moment to reflect on your own experiences. What triggers your writer's block? Is it the pressure to be perfect, the lack of direction, the overwhelming scope, or external stresses? Recognizing these triggers is the first step in addressing them. Understanding why you're blocked can help you find ways to move forward. Now that we've discussed what writer's block is and why it happens, let's dive into practical strategies to overcome it. These tips are designed to help you break through those barriers and get your writing flowing again. First, set realistic goals. Trying to tackle your entire dissertation at once can be overwhelming. Instead, break it down into smaller, manageable tasks. Focus on one section or even one paragraph at a time. Establish daily or weekly writing goals that are achievable. This way, you can track your progress and stay motivated. Next, create a writing routine. Consistency is key. Designate specific times each day for writing and stick to them. Find a conducive writing environment, a place where you can focus without distractions. It might be a quiet room at home, a corner in a library, or even a cozy coffee shop. The important thing is that it works for you. Another effective technique is free writing. This involves writing continuously for a set period, say 10 to 15 minutes, without worrying about grammar, structure, or even making sense. The goal is to get your thoughts flowing and reduce the pressure to be perfect. You might be surprised at how many good ideas come out during these sessions. Mind mapping and outlining are also great tools. Visualizing your ideas through mind maps can help you see the connections between different parts of your research. Create detailed outlines to guide your writing process. This way, you have a clear roadmap of what you want to write, making it easier to start and continue. Seeking feedback and support is crucial. Share your work with peers or mentors who can provide constructive feedback. Sometimes an outside perspective can offer new insights and help you see things you might have missed. Joining writing groups or finding a writing buddy can also be incredibly helpful. Having someone to share the journey with can provide accountability and motivation. I remember another student, Mark, who was struggling to write his literature review. He felt overwhelmed by the sheer volume of sources he had to read and analyze by breaking down his task into smaller steps. First, organizing his sources, then summarizing each one, and finally, weaving them together into a cohesive narrative, he managed to make steady progress. He also set up a daily writing routine and shared his drafts with a writing group for feedback. These strategies helped him overcome his writer's block and complete his literature review. So, to recap, set realistic goals create a consistent writing routine, use free writing to get your ideas flowing, utilize mind mapping and outlining to organize your thoughts, and seek feedback and support from others. These practical strategies can help you overcome writer's block and make steady progress on your dissertation. As you try these techniques, remember that it's normal to have good days and bad days, the key is to keep going, even when it feels tough. With persistence and the right strategies, you can overcome writer's block and successfully complete your dissertation. As we continue our journey to overcome writer's block, let's talk about the power of mindset. Your mindset plays a crucial role in how you handle obstacles. Embracing a positive mindset can make a significant difference in your writing process. One key aspect is to adopt a growth mindset. This means viewing challenges not as setbacks, but as opportunities to learn and grow. When you face a tough section of your dissertation, see it as a chance to develop new skills and gain deeper insights into your research. Every challenge you encounter is an opportunity to become better at what you do. 
it's also essential to practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself, especially during tough times. Writer's block can be frustrating, but beating yourself up over it won't help. Instead, acknowledge that it's a normal part of the process. Give yourself permission to take breaks and remind yourself that it's okay to have off days. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer a friend going through the same struggle. Celebrating small wins is another powerful way to cultivate a positive mindset. Every bit of progress, no matter how small, is worth acknowledging. Did you write a paragraph today? Great. Did you finally understand a complex concept? Fantastic. These small victories add up and keep you motivated. Reward yourself for these achievements and you'll find that your overall progress improves. Let me share a quote that always inspires me. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. This reminds us that every small step we take is part of a larger journey. Keep this in mind as you work on your dissertation. Celebrate each step and remember that you are making progress even when it feels slow. As we wrap up this segment, take a moment to reflect on your mindset. Are you embracing challenges? Are you being kind to yourself? Are you celebrating your progress? These practices can help you maintain a positive outlook and keep moving forward even when the writing gets tough. Keep pushing ahead one step at a time. Now let's talk about some additional resources and tools that can support you in overcoming writer's block. There are plenty of great options out there to help you stay on track and keep your writing flowing. Books and articles on dissertation writing can be incredibly helpful. Titles like Writing Your Dissertation in 15 Minutes a Day by Joan Bolker offer practical advice and strategies. These resources provide insights into the writing process and can give you new techniques to try. Writing software and apps can also make a big difference. Tools like Scrivener are designed specifically for long-form writing projects, helping you organize your thoughts and structure your work. Grammarly is another excellent tool, providing real-time grammar and style suggestions to make your writing clearer and more polished. Online forums and communities for doctoral students are great places to find support and advice. Websites like the Grad Cafe and PhD forums offer a space to share experiences, ask questions, and get feedback from fellow students who understand what you're going through. These communities can provide both practical tips and emotional support, which can be invaluable during the writing process. Finding the right resources can make a big difference in overcoming writer's block. By exploring these books, tools, and communities, you can gain new perspectives and find the support you need to keep moving forward. As we wrap up today's episode, let's recap the key points we've covered. We started by understanding what writer's block is and why it happens. We then explored common causes like perfectionism, lack of clarity, and external pressures. We moved on to practical strategies to overcome writer's block, including setting realistic goals, creating a writing routine, using free writing, mind mapping, and seeking feedback. We also discussed the importance of cultivating a positive mindset and embracing growth, self-compassion, and celebrating small wins. Now, it's time for you to put these strategies into practice. Try incorporating these tips into your daily routine and see how they work for you. Remember, writer's block is a normal part of the process, and with the right approach, you can overcome it. I'd love to hear about your experiences, what strategies have worked for you. Share your thoughts and feedback with us. Your insights might help other doctoral students who are facing similar challenges. In our next episode, we'll dive into maintaining momentum and staying motivated throughout your dissertation journey. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you for tuning in today. If you found this episode helpful, please share it with your peers. Every little bit of support helps our community grow. This has been Dissertation in 90 Days, brought to you by Grad Mentor Network. Keep pushing forward, and remember, every word you write is a step closer to your goal. Until next time, happy writing.